Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. I'm doing my freaking 1K miles, or sorry, 5K mile oil change. Holy. Dude, I'm excited. I'm excited too. I'm, I'm really excited just to be taking care of this car, honestly, because my goal with this car, dude, is to make it last as long as possible <laughs> the way I push it. And um, eventually, you know, if nothing happens, that'd be good. Cause I have warranty to 100k, 105k, bro. So honestly, my goal is to take care of like this engine overall. But I'm gonna make this thing last, bro. Just because I take care of my stuff, man. But pretty much, you know, right now I'm at 4,700. Oh my gosh, dude! I've been literally all week working, bro. I didn't record a single time this whole week, dude. I've just been grinding at work you know because my goal at the end of the day if i don't get you know if i don't work harder try to make more money other ways you know this is this is cool and all but it's not gonna make me it's not, it doesn't get me where i need to be you know what i mean so that's why we're hustling until we can bro and like everyone knows my age so i'm pretty young and i'm not gonna stop now bro but like by the time i'm 25 dude i gotta at least have close to svj you know what i mean like that's the goal dude the admissions SVJ. Sheesh, bro. Beautiful. Oh, M5 comp. Yo, this is literally the car I want to go for. Next. Sheesh. That's. Oh, dude, I love M5s. Pretty much just got my old change done. Sadly, they didn't make like a whole video like they did last time, but hey, whatever. I'll, I needed oil done, but one thing, dude, I love about this dealership is like all the people there, really cool guys. So I should have trust for these guys, but when it comes to, comes down to like issues where it's not warranty, I don't know if I gotta come to these guys, dude. It's like 220 an hour. It's freaking crazy. But my goal is to go Catalyst soon, and I keep talking about it. But every weekend I'm trying to do it. My buddy, the buddy I do it with, he's always busy. So it's been kind of a struggle. I was trying to do it today, but you know, he's busy and it's there's always there's always something which is like, you know, the only you what you're supposed to do about it. So for me, I'm gonna try to get it done this week. Oh my dude, I need catalysts. Like the car is really loud from the outside. Like if you are outside this car, like if you're like let's say in the right lane and I pass you, it's gonna hurt your ears. Like, and it's just and it's just a cat bag. Imagine catalyst, bro. I'm literally gonna destroy people's eardrums, which is not my goal. Just make sure the windows, if the windows close, you'll be fine. You know what I mean? There was an M5 at the dealership. I'm actually driving by the dealership right now, just because I have to go this way. And dude, there's a freaking M5 comp. I'm actually gonna stop by the M5, the BMW dealership since I'm here. Seriously considering getting an M5, guys. Like, I'm actually, I'm not gonna sell this car. You know, look at that, it's an M5 comp. I don't plan on selling this car. I only plan to sell this car maybe in like five years down the line, like at 50K miles or like whatever kind of miles. No, probably like closer to like 80K. But, you know, if YouTube follows through and it, this car pays for itself, then obviously I'm gonna keep it. But other than that, I'm gonna keep buying cars and, and just experimenting with, with the money I can use because you know, I'm, I make pretty good money for the job, so I can keep buying more cars. But of course, I want to do something out of this car, you know. So whether that's YouTube, but really, what I want to do is buy salvage cars and repair them. That's like my number one thing right now. That's like what I'm really looking forward to. And of course, repairing them to like stock and then boosting the crap out of them. Like that's the goal. I got a fresh oil change you know i could gas it from what i heard like i don't know if it's true or not but every time you're gassing this car like super crazy they recommend doing oil changes like every two to three k so last time i did it was around 2k so i did at 2.7 it's like the perfect medium but i'm gonna I'm keep doing oil changes dude it's only like 120 dollars it's literally that's literally like a full tank of gas dude i hope there's an m5 for me to look at because last time i came here dude it looks like to me they like hide the M5 somewhere. Oh shoot. Oh, I think that's actually an M5. Yo, if it's an M5, I'm gonna go freaking to it right now. 
Yeah, yeah, I was right. I was, there was actually one over there, and it's not. Oh, it is M5. Oh, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Everyone here is probably like, dude, what the fudge? Why is there a Hellcat here? All the deal, all the dealership guys. Yo, I'm, I'm hyped, dude. I love the freaking M5 so much. So, dude, fifty thousand miles. 51,000 this car is literally about to die bro like there's no way they rape like they didn't rape this car but pretty much i looked it up 67k for this i mean that's pretty cheap but if it's 50,000 miles dude i'm not getting this car any cheaper than 80k oh no sorry i'm not getting this it has to be like right below 50 like it has to be 59k that's the only way i'll buy it because i'm literally gonna be buying if i buy this car right now i'm ready for it to break like Come on, dude, a freaking B, especially BMW. Like I work on German stuff and German machines. I know that these cars, Germans, dude, <laughs> I, I gotta look up the mates and it's freaking, I gotta look up what they've already done to it. Cause I know for a fact they've done repairs in this car. Like these cars are literally known for it. Like, I know I'm not tripping, but if I do buy this car, if, if I can get a good deal on it, then I'm gonna have funds just for repairs. You know what I mean? So maybe, you know, maybe I'll look into it. I'm actually going to see, but bro, Hellcat's unique, man. I'm keep, I'm going to keep this for a long time, long time. Especially that's a red eye. It's actually worth keeping. I don't know if like this M5 just doesn't look as clean as usual, but I feel like if it had like black rims on it and stuff, it'd be like way more juiced looking, but definitely got to put some carbon fiber freaking parts in that thing. Make it look super yoked. Oh my gosh. Dude, I gotta get a BMW. I have to get one. I'm gonna be honest, man. I'm really good. I'm actually gonna see if I'm actually gonna come in this week and try to negotiate this car. If I get this car for cheap, then pretty much all I'm gonna do is just repair this car. <laughs> We're gonna see, dude. I'm hyped. Or, dude, maybe the M8. Yeah, I just need to see how much this thing costs. How much is this thing? 140 grand? Yo, that's freaking crazy. Is it at least brand new? Uh, I can't tell, but the M8, bro, it's freaking one of the. Uh, honestly, like out of all the out of all the M, uh, BMWs I've driven or I've, I've seen, also, dude, these are the one of the best sounding ones. And bro, this feel about hit the cars. Yo, oh shoot, the new M SUVs, all oh, fudge, dude, freaking crazy. Dude, I don't know, man. BMW, they they coming out with too many new cars. I'm. I'm just happy they're not making red eyes anymore, dude. That's honestly like what makes me so hyped. Bro, the new M's are, what the heck? That looks crazy. Looks hella futuristic. But pretty much guys, if you guys enjoyed the vid, you know, make sure you guys leave a like. If you guys are new, I know like 50% of you guys are not subscribed. Make sure you guys subscribe if you want to see more and join the journey because this is just the beginning. I'm up. Whether YouTube does good or not, that doesn't matter because I'm hustling. I'm hustling until mm -hmm. I have literally an SVJ in my parking lot. Like, I'm making sure of that. We're, I'm gonna work hard until that because I, I want it for myself. It's not even for like, oh, for other people. Like, I want to get to that point that, you know, buying an SVJ is like a byproduct of success. That's why I want it. That's why I set my goals like to like that kind of car. Cause to get that to that level, I gotta really succeed. switch gears hella quick but pretty much so far this car is at 5k miles and obviously i've had like minor issues here and there but from what i realized is having the car in the sun is what seems like to cause like a lot of issues because i've been having in the garage now and pretty much all the issues went away so i guess if you get this car i recommend like having a garage or like covering it every single day because it, to me it looks like to me that the you connect cannot take the heat Cause that's when I started having issues with the Uconnect. It was just like, it would like glitch out. And all night I just see the Uconnect turning on. Sheesh, bro. So pretty much, long story short, this car has been great. And the heat seems like it's causing issues, but since I have warranty, they're always gonna be helping me. That's also why I recommend having some type of warranty. Like the banks sometimes provide warranty. Just cause like stuff like this doesn't stress you out, you know? But that's why at the end of the day, guys, you gotta learn to make more money because there's always gonna be stupid things you're gonna have to waste your money on. 
Like whether YouTube does good or not, you know, I don't really care. But at the end of the day, buying a car will be a waste of money. So I definitely recommend to try and make even more money. And that's my goal. You know, like this car is for no longer a burden, especially now working really hard, try and make more. I'm actually trying to get an M5 now. So we'll see, man. There's, I feel like a lot's gonna happen, a lot's gonna change. And the whole goal is just to make more money, investing your money somewhere else. So then I can buy toys like this, you know? Cause at the end of the day, you only live once. So that's why I'm spoiling myself, but not throwing all the money I make. Like I'm investing every single month, thousands of dollars in other ventures. But you have to keep reinvesting all your money. Oh my gosh, the echo. Dude, callus is gonna be like, I feel like once I go callus, the POVs are gonna be so different. Like, I feel like my whole channel is gonna do like a transition because once you go callus, bro, that's it. The car is officially straight pipes. Like, you can't make it any louder. I feel like that's what people want to see, want to hear, you know? So, we're gonna see. I have, I have like no expectations as usual, but my goal is to go callus, work really hard, try to make some more money, and then buy an M5 by the end of the year and straight pipe that thing the first freaking week. I'm not delaying cal I'm, I'm going callus for a fact the first week. I'm not delaying that. Oh my gosh. I freaking love this car, dude. It's so aggressive. I just love like, this is like, being, like M5s are hella fast. Like they make you bounce around. But this car just has so much torque. It's not good. It's like a bad, it's bad and good, you know? Cause it, it feels really fun. Sheesh, bro. So I don't have to edit that. <laughs> oh, bridge time, bridge time. That's where I'm gonna end the video off. I want to go callous right now. I freaking can't. I just need to buy my own jack and just freaking go callous. I need to buy like the ones that are super low because this car, dude, I can't pick it up from the front anymore. I have no clue why. But like I said earlier, if you guys enjoyed the vid, make sure you guys leave a like. Wait, is that a freaking Hellcat? Is that a freaking Hellcat? Ain't no way. Ain't no way, bro. Let me see the shoes. Oh, it freaking is a Hellcat. Yo! I'm gonna talk to this guy, but... So I just met the Hellcat guy. He's pretty dope, dude. Pretty, pretty dope people. I've been seeing this like, today alone. I saw... I actually saw three Hellcats today. Uh, they're all, like, kind of, like, the older ones. I can tell by the badge. But still, you know, still same dope engines, you know? It's still the same engine. But I'm excited, man. Meeting a lot more Hellcat guys in my area. Just more people to ride with, you know? Because... Weekends are just like the best days just to go ride, get some food, go out, you know, and having people to go with is the key. Sheesh. If you guys enjoyed the vid, make sure you guys leave a like. If you guys want to see more, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.